Hello. So today we are going to be creating your suitcase portfolios for Evening of the Arts. I have already introduced to you guys to this idea, so we're just going to do a short demonstration and you guys are actually going to be able to work along with the demonstration today. So this is what your final product is going to look like and you'll be able to store your artwork in here along with your passport artist statement. It will go nicely in the pocket in the front of your suitcase. So the supplies you're going to need for today, you're going to need one large brown piece of paper, you're going to need one small brown piece of paper, you're going to need two square pieces of paper that are the same color, you get to choose which color you want for that, and then you're also going to need two strips of paper, again the same color, but you also get to choose what color you would like for that. Once you've got all your supplies, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take the large brown piece of paper and you're going to write your name at the top and then also your teacher's name. So your homeroom teacher, whoever that is, you'll go ahead and write that at the top as well. Once that is done, you're going to take the large brown paper and you're going to fold it in half hamburger style. So that's this way and you go ahead and fold and then you can do your crease. All right, once you have that done, keep the large brown piece of paper. You're going to need to grab your small brown piece of paper. And you're going to get a crayon out of your bin. Now, you need to grab a naked crayon. And what I mean by naked means one that does not have its wrapper on it. So it's missing its clothes, basically. You're going to grab one of these crayons, and you can choose any color you want. Um, and the reason we need it to not have its wrapper is you're going to be coloring with the side of it instead of the top of it, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to use your side and just do a rubbing like this across the whole brown paper. Alright, so it should look nice and textured when you're done. Go ahead and flip it over and you're going to do the other side as well. If you want to change your colors up, that's totally fine with me. You can grab a different color and use that color for the back. If you want to switch your colors up and go different directions and switch your colors up on the same side, maybe I decide I'm going to add some orange with my green. You can do that if you want. Totally fine with me. All right, once you have both sides of your large paper done, you're also going to do your small brown paper as well. Same thing, only, only have to do one side. Let's go ahead and grab a crayon and do the rubbing on one side of your small brown paper. All right, perfect. Once that is done, you're going to be ready to attach your small brown paper to your large brown paper in order to form the pocket. So, you need to make sure that you're attaching it on the fold, not the part that opens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my small um, brown paper and I'm going to flip it over to the side that I did not color on. I'm going to add some glue. You guys will use the glue sticks that are in your bins. Ms. Dale's using um, a different kind of glue because I forgot to bring a glue stick home. So I'm just going to add the glue to the very bottom of one side. So just like this, across the one side, and that's all the glue I need for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over, and I'm gonna glue it down. Remember, make sure you're gluing it on the fold and not the part that opens, in the middle, right at the bottom. All right, go ahead and hold it there. Make sure it's nice and flat and glued down well. And you should be able to still lift it up part way. 
Now time for your straps. These are going to be glued on either side of your pocket, just like this, in order to secure your pocket in place and also form the seal that you'll need to be able to hold things in the pocket. So go ahead and you are going to put your glue on your strip like so. Again, you're using a glue stick. Ms. Dale's using rubber cement. And then make sure it's halfway over your small brown paper and halfway over your large brown paper. Go ahead and attach. Again, make sure everything's nice and flat. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Okay. All right, once we have our straps attached, you're going to take your two other colored pieces of paper that you have and you're gonna create your handles. How you're gonna do this is you're going to line your papers up just like so, make sure they're nice and lined up as best as you can. They're not, they might not completely line up and that's okay, don't stress out about that. You're gonna take your scissors and you're basically going to be cutting a U out of them for your handle. So you're gonna go ahead and line your scissors up. Make sure that's not too close to the edge because you don't want a really skinny handle. So right about here is good, about an inch away. And you're gonna cut up toward the top. Stop about an inch away and you're gonna turn. And again, cut up towards the top. Stop about an inch away, turn. And last time, cut up towards the top. And you can go all the way this time. All right, now you have two nice handles. If you want to keep your handles pointy on the edges, that's totally fine. You can leave them that way. If you'd like them a little more curved like Miss Dale has on hers, then all you need to do is line them up again and you'll go ahead and you will just cut the corners off. Just like so. All right. Once that is done, it's time to glue our handles to our suitcase. When you're gluing your handles to the suitcase, you want to glue them on the end side. So you'll go ahead and open up your suitcase and put a little bit of glue on the ends of both of your handles, just like so. And then line it up. You should be able to see the tip top part of your strap sticking up. So that way you'll have a good idea of how to center your handle. You can go ahead and glue it down. Now you're going to do the same thing for the other side. But what I suggest doing is simply adding your glue. And then putting it, make sure the glue sides up and then putting it on top of your other handle like so. And then just closing this. That way you'll make sure it's nice and lined up. And then you can rub over it to make sure it attaches. All right, now that you have your handles attached, we've got our straps in our pocket. The next step, again, if you would like to round your edges off, on the sides of your suitcase, you can do that. If you want to keep them pointy, that's completely fine too. In order to round your edges, all you're going to do is just cut the corners off again. And 
and then you have your rounded edges. Our last and final step is to be create our buckles for our straps. You will grab a black marker out of your bed and you're basically just going to make it look like a belt buckle. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw three circles. And then you're going to do a curved line, another curved line. You can put a circle inside the lines and then almost like a tongue sticking out for your buckle. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Circle, 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 curve line, curve line, another circle, and then the tongue. And you're done. That is how you create your suitcase portfolio.